Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Nightingale. I'm Zystars. This is my Pew Pew pellet launcher. And we are going to go do something awesome today. We're not going to go unlock the Gloom card because, yeah, I don't want to do a boss fight right now. What we are going to do is we're going to make the Harbarium card. Which, if you've never done it, is a huge pain in the butt. Because you need this stuff called coated paper and vibrant ink, right? So to get coated paper, you gotta come over here. And you're like, ooh, what do I need for coating paper? Okay, 12 paper, one coating. What do I need for coating? And you come over here, and you're like, coating. I need fabric. Oh, okay. And you come over here, and I make a fabric. Oh, I need refined fiber. Oh, then you gotta grab the fiber and refine it. So you gotta go one here, one here. Oh, yeah, all of that. And then you gotta make, you gotta coat the stuff. <laughs> the ink's not any better. You gotta, you gotta get alchemical ink, which takes pigment. So you gotta make pigment. I forget where pigment was made. But you gotta go make the pigment. Then you gotta refine the pigment. Then you gotta turn pigment into alchemical glass or, or uh, alchemical ink after making glass. And then you can come down here to the vibrant ink. As long as you got some gunpowder, you can combine ink with the alchemical. You know that's what that is, and with the gunpowder to make the vibrant ink. And I was like, oh my god, why is it such a hassle? Shorten the number of steps, I, I say. Like, make them just as complicated, but don't make me run in circles. It, it, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just me. And maybe I should have made a whole bunch of them because I made one, so I might as well make a whole bunch of them. But now we have it. We have the card, and I made the desert card. Desert card was easy. The desert card was just, uh, what do you call it? Um, paper and ink, you know? So, the question is, which one of these do I cancel? I'm going to cancel the first one. Oh, wait, what do we got in here? Does it say? Is there a way to look at it? Hmm, I think this was the forest biome. But, I guess it's not that big a deal. I'm probably not going to go back. Any, anyway, the, the easy ones are easy. The aquarium card. Here, barium card. Oh, right, you got to reset the portal. That's right. Okay, so now we're going to the desert, and we're going to the Herbariums. Level 50, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But we got we got to do it, right? We got to travel to the desert Herbarium. I'm not sure what the Lawman's Trust thing is. I already did this. In a forest provisioner realm. Yeah, I already did that. I don't know. Oh, the reward is 100 tier 1 essence, though. I don't know, maybe I need to go back over there. That should be that one. But maybe I'll go back over there and fool around, but not not right now. Right now, I'm going to take my one fiber. No, I'm not. Right now, I'm going to take my 108 simple marble rocks. My 35 buckshot. Let's grab the rest of my buckshot. And I'm going to find every bit of sulfur and coal that I can. That That's going to be one of the big grinds. And something I actually found out about the maps here, if you run along the edges, a lot of times you can find caves down there that are going to give you sulfur and cop and coal. So I need to do that. I need to do that here so I can get all of that good stuff. And I'm probably not powerful enough to do this right now, but I don't care. We're going to do it anyway. Okay. First off, it's a desert. So, hey, Nell. It does not appear that it's super hot. Oh, no, I'm in the shade right here. Excellent. It's the desert trees. We're definitely going to want to chop some of those down. Actually, let's see what... Where is my... Oh, it's in my inventory. Let's see what bonus the desert trees give. Because each wood gives a bonus, a different bonus. Alright, so... Oh, no, this is just common wood. Maybe it's this big tree. There we go. I should probably eat something. Just to have a few more hit points. All right. Ah, uh, this just looks like regular wood bundles. Just looks like regular wood bundles. Okay, so let's have the... that. All right. Oh, and a buddy of mine taught me something. If you have your knife out, whoa, right click, and you get to launch yourself forward. You can even do it while while falling, which is fan friggin' tastic. All right. Find and speak to Nelly Bly. Alright, well, 
It's not obvious where Nelly Bly might be, so I think the first thing we're going to do is hit the Essence Trader. So we'll shoot up that way. The next thing we'll do is pro whoops, probably hit the Fey Tower to open up everything. Come on, Nell. Let's go. Go. Let's growl. I might as well... That's a big tree. Any special wood? Nope. Oh, wait. Actually, some of that might be a special wood. Nope, it's just wood. All right. Well, uh, let's uh, try to see if we can't figure out how to get there. Oh, that's a lot of robots. I wonder if they're tougher here. All right. So in lower tier caves like this with the sulfur and the copper in it, or the coal, you got bear. In this psychotic cave, we got a robot. A robot. A robot, if you will. Hey, robot. Where'd you go? Hey, dick. Oh. Okay, I mean, if you're gonna fight that thing, go for it. Nope. Oh. I pissed it off. Does it fight now? It does. This thing's probably tougher than all the bosses that I've fought so far. Or not. Why am I not getting a crit on it? Ooh, that hit me. I'm on fire. Nice. There it is. I'd rather not die. Ooh! Really, bug? Is he gonna laser? Where'd the robot go? I really need to level up Nell's weaponry and, and uh, armor. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, he refilled his health. That is some bull. Him hoppycock, if you will. Hoppycock, I tell you. You friggin' healing. I'm gonna go get Nell. I don't need any of that nonsense in my life. Healing ass robots. There you go. Wake up, dude. I don't know if that guy's gonna come at us. Okay. Alright. Back to mine and then. Nope, he's back. I'm stuck. He is fully recharged. He has got all of his health back. This bitch is injured again? Yeah, I need to get him some better armor. I mean, running up in the face of that thing sucks, but... There, we got him. God, we got nothing for killing that thing either. Yeah, not like the other ones. Well, he did do a good job of mining for me, so I guess there's that. Seem to be having a hell of a time finding a way up there. So I can get to that. There is the Fey Tower over there, but I'd, I'd rather get up in there first. Now, there's a chance that this is the path. A chance. And get rid of the thing there. Oh, what do we got here? Mushrooms? Is this just... What is this? Oh, it's amber. Okay, sweet. 
I don't have much of that. All right, and what are you? You I can't have. It's, it might just be a standard cave. With a scorpion in it. Oh, I thought he was going to do his super stinger. Yeah, that. There we go, little bastard. So the the critters here are the tier two. Because this is tier two bug meat and tier two chitin, which is pretty sweet. Mm. Okay, so this is just a standard cave for some mining. Damn. Huh, seems we have an opportunity here. Well, number one. Hope Echo. Okay, that's just that stuff. But we have the ability to roast some tier two bug meat. Autofill. Manage fuel. Alright. Let's do it, baby. Hmm. Should we? Should we? I think we should. Let's see if I can bring a couple of them out. Or all of them. They don't seem overtly powerful. Yeah, baby, die. Bleed for me. All right, that wasn't so bad. What else do you think is up here? Did we get? Yeah, we got them all. It's a, it's an occupy. So battle, all of the baddies to get the goodies. All right, that wasn't so bad. We got an anvil. Okay, that seems like something we're gonna add to our collection of crafting tables and what do they call them? Adjustments. <laughs> Whatever. This, however, looks like it might be a way to go through. Oh, dear. Oh, I didn't sleep at that bed. I should have. All right. Nothing special. No, no fireball guys or anything crazy like that. Humble candlestick. <laughs> Humble candlestick. Okay. What the? Did I see that building before? I don't know, but we're not going that way. I want to get 609 meters up that way. And this is looking more and more like it's not it. I don't know how to get up there. I haven't gone all the way around yet. Looking for an in, an in or an up. Yeah, this is just a little, a little thing I'm gonna do. Uh, well, sugar honey iced tea. Well, I can't figure out how to get up there, so we're gonna go hang out at this, uh, this Fey Tower. I still have six minutes left on all of my food stuff, so hopefully I don't die and have to run all the way back here. We shall see, though. Something's, something crazy is happening. Oh, this is one of those dudes that chucks grenades at people. Little bastard. And I think I stepped on that thing, which caused me to get poisoned. Let's uh, do a cheeky heal. We'll make that my off-a-hand of item. Now. What's going on with you? Ooh, there's a thing. Don't step on those. Yeah. 15 tier 2 essences, which is sweet. I don't know what that weird bread looking thing is on my on the left side of my screen. That's new. There's no way to look at that shit, so yeah, that's there, I guess.
What is it? I don't know. How long will it be there? I don't know that either. How to get through this maze? I'm working on it. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I think developers, we need... Something other than these stupid traps throughout this maze. These traps are just dumb. They're boring. I, I don't know why anybody put them in here. Have some fights. Have something interesting. Instead of just running in circles. I may not even be getting it. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I may not be getting anywhere, but I have no idea. There's no progression in here. You just keep walking in circles until you hope you get done. Oh, for fuck's sake. Seriously? Alright, well, fucking die. What? At least it's something moderately different. Not really different. It's the same stupid enemy, but... They're doing a, a new thing, I guess. New spin on an old, an old trick. What's happening? Is it just sitting up there? Is it not going to be... Is it undamageable now? Shoots four times. Oh, no, Nell's damaging it. Okay. And now we got two of these things on this staircase. So that makes things interesting. Wait, did it just teleport inside? Oh, it's putting these things down. What? Is it in here? Where did where to go? Oh, okay. Its little things are gone, so they're not permanent. So it lay, it temporarily lays down the thingamadoos. Okay. All right. Well, that, I guess that thing's in there doing its thing. I'm gonna come up here. You know, I should have put that card where I can I can fall any distance down. Oh shit! We got this guy. <laughs> We got these guys and the robot. Now that makes things a little nuts. Oh, I just hit a poison trap like a total idiot. Uh, that potion didn't actually do anything. It's like not giving me hit points. Okay. So, number six, drink a potion. There we go, that time it did. Maybe it did and I just missed it. Alright, we're gonna need to re-eat really quick. So, consume. 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 Okay. Okay, I assume I have to kill that big automaton, even though it seems to have buggered off. I want to know if there's a point to these things. They're here, you would think there'd be a point to them. How did that thing get so damaged? Oh, shit. That thing's attacking me. Come here, you little bitch. Get him, Nell. Nell needs some better weapons. I gotta spend like two days not recording and just upgrade weapons and equipment, which let me tell you about how much I'm not wanting to do that. Where did... Where did that big bastard run off to? It teleported in through the cave on me. Oh, maybe it died. 
Look, this thing is is opened. Railway signal lamp. Did the chest open? Did we kill it and just not realize it? We did. Okay. But we must have killed it and just not realized it. I just can't get those ones for some reason. They're too fast. Yeah, that thing's got a shield. <laughs> Come here, bitch. Nope. Hit the thing. Come here. I want your bones. Ah, I got one. Oh, right. I need your bones. There was another one, wasn't there? Yeah, there he is. Well, that fight was a little more harrowing than than normal for these ones. Well, not... I don't know. The robot was less of an issue once I realized I could just get it trapped down there and not worry about it. But having the bugaboos up here, that was a nice twist. At least I don't remember it before on the other Fey Tower. Okay, now that we did the Fey Tower, we should have all of this stuff opened up. Which should give us... Stop that. A little bit more idea of what's going on. Vessel of Agility... Okay, it doesn't... It do, I was hoping it would tell me where Nell was at, but it didn't. So, this Essence Trader is the one I just can't seem to find a way to get to. Wasn't there another one? Yeah, here it is. There's an Essence Trader down that way. I wish I could figure out a way to get up there. Well, hello there, Essence Trader Sam. So what did I just run the entire length of this of this uh, instance for? Refined hammer. Okay, refined climbing picks, hermetic flame, an enchantment. What's an enchantment? Huh. Neat. Ooh. Oh. Fish cutlet, huh? Okay. Yeah, lamp posts. Crafting refinement. Let's see. Nothing there. Basics repair. Ooh. Alchemical boiler. Oh, neat. Consumable potions. Yes, please. So the refined one. Do I need the basic one? Uh, let's see. Refined. Where is it? Okay. There it is. Alchemical boiler. Requires lumber, an etched ingot, and a water bottle. Okay, I can. I'm pretty sure I can make all of that. Ooh, a bonfire. Build a cooking station to craft consumable items. This looks like it cooks better items. We'll buy that. Something's happening. Nell, are you getting in fights? Are you getting in fights without me? Look at this. Look at this fool over here getting into fights without me. Bunch of robots. Bunch of robots. Alright, um... Damn it. Your combat music. No? Okay. Alright. Uh, let's see. Refined climbing picks. Refined hammer. This is just to repair stuff. I'm not I'm not spending money on that. Though I am curious about the hermetic flame and the shock wave. I'm not sure what you build those on, but we'll see, I guess. Charm of the Arcane. The charm increases the wearer's movement speed after casting an enchantment. The charm increases the wearer's damage whenever they remain uninjured and avoid damage, damaging an enemy for at least five seconds. Avoid damaging an enemy. 
Okay. That's interesting. Let's buy that one. Uh, ooh, moderate rejuvenation potion. I would love to be able to make that. And I would love to be able to make the fish cutlet. I don't care about that. The desert basic set. That might look cool. Oh, a cannon. I'm sure I'm going to need that for something. All right. Well, we got a lot to a lot of stuff that we can do now. Make some better food, get some better stuff and some better things. And I don't know how to get up here. <laughs> but I I am going to I don't think there's anything else to do in here. I got to find Nellie Bly. Which she's probably up here, which means I need to, or up here, I need to figure out a way to get up there. It just now occurred to me after doing all this running around that I could just use my climbing picks. To get up here, which is probably what they intended. Use the climbing picks, dummy. Yes, I'm tired, I know. And now he won't climb? Why won't he climb? There we go. Hopefully I'm not too tired to get this done. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's do some climbing. All I want is this essence trader, and then I'll go home. I wonder if the refined picks would do a better job. Okay. Well, that made it. Alright, 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 alright. I got it. I, I, I feel you. I made it, you little bastard trader. How the hell did you even get all of this shit up here? Look at all these people. B-A-H-L. Oh, these are the names. Gus, Leroy. Who the hell am I looking for? Nellie Bly? There's Nellie Bly over there. Alright. Well, who the hell are all these people? Okay. Leroy. A Jenkins. I'm nothing for you, fella. Nellie's the one keeping us afloat. Is this a... Excuse me. Is that a POI? Hey, Norman. Okay, he's got the refined climbing picks. Uh, I should probably get him. Enchantments, charms. Looks like he's got all the same stuff as the other guy. Yeah, okay. He's got all the same stuff as the other guy. Um. Ooh, this is the new one. What do we got? We got tender steak, seasoned raw meat. Seasoned raw meat. Spices and meat. Deboned fish. Salad. Mixed plants and spices. Why do I need spices for a salad? What the hell kind of salads are we making? Healing salve. Well, we're definitely going home before doing a dungeon. Hey, Nelly. So you managed your way here without a proper guide. Given the determination etched on your brow, I'm guessing this encounter is not simply by chance. I was told you might be able to help me, or vice versa. Then you worked up an appetite for greater things in the face of disaster. How exactly did you find me? Uh, the foremost expert in the realm. Dashing fellow. Aurelio. He put his map down for a second to help you, and the old walking pickaxe accepted the explorer's new mission after all. Someone in my line of work ought to know by now never to make assumptions. So tell me your own words. What brings you to me? You seek Nightingale. My heavens. No, who planted that seed between your ears? Nightingale is off limits. Inaccessible. Completely and utterly. With the portal network dismantled, access was sundered. There's no door left open until we can find a safe means of reopening Nightingale's transepts. Not Nightingale. Let's see. With one safe haven out of reach, I continued searching for another. For those souls here... For all who are lost, which is why we're trying to reach a place known as The Watch. Whoops. It was a curated realm, and so should be easier to access. There we can take our bearings, and the factions can convene to plan how we might return to Earth. At the bottom of this cave, there used to be a permanent portal. Unfortunately, without the portal network direct to direct it, it's just a hole leading to nowhere. That's the reason we've assembled this gate, lest some wandering fool get stuck between realms. But if we manage to secure its connection, we could make it safe again. Better yet, we could give it a new destination. Exactly. The goal isn't to open the door, but to keep the door ajar, rebuild the network, or at least a piece of it, like it was before the Calamity. To achieve that, we need a portal stabilizer, which is why I've got my hands on this broken hunk of machinery. If we can repair it, we can attune 
the portal to the cave to the watch, so long as Quarter Mains lived up to his promise. So how do we fix it? Three cru crucial components are missing. A reliable heat source, combustion fluid, and an attunement conductor. Let me pop that into a screenshot. Typically, the that word distilled such things from pale lodestone, but it's impossible to collect from interrealmic space. Thankfully, that person technologies are founded on magical principles. Thus, scarce resources in the realms can substitute the missing part. Since they're so imbued with the same properties, or so Victor assured me. We need the following. An elder eaten heart, the pellucid etched ingot, and automation charm oil. Hey, you're in the way. So, it does seem that we just have a whole bunch of quests we gotta go do. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see. There we go. So, that was a whole lot of talking she did for telling me that I need to get an object from one of the Elder Guys in each of the realms. So, I guess that's the next thing to go do. Complete the quest, Heart of the Elder. Okay, so there's a bunch of quests, and then there's a quest that says complete the quests. So, so there's a whole bunch of extra stuff on the screen that doesn't need to be there. So, but, let's see, a portal stabilizer component. So the top one is the one that's going to get completed when I do the next three. And then the, the fifth one is going to get completed when I do the second, third, and fourth one, I guess. Heart, oil, and ingot. Oh, no, the, the top three are going to get completed, and that'll complete the fourth one. Okay. Or something like that. Gather the components for the portal stabilizer. Complete the quest, the bishop's charm. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what's going on with this. Here, let's take a look here. Let's see. That's Gloom card. Okay, bishop's charm, heart of the elder eaten, giant's prize. And then you get a bunch of junk as a response. There's the Heart of the Elder Eaton, Bishop's Charm, Giant's Prize. Oh, and the Lawman one is still in there somewhere. Which is weird because I found him already. You get 100 Tier 1 Essences. Maybe I'll go figure that one out again. Forest Provisioner's Realm. Okay, so I think one of them is in this realm. Automation Charm. The Portal Stabilizer Component. Automation Charm. That might be... This guy right here. He's northwest. Oh, it's Puck. What's up, Puck? Ho, ho, ho. While I regret that returning to Nightingale must wait many moons, Nelly's recourse has reef whispers unfurl. As I took a knightly form, a little jay tittled yet. Not all jays can be trusted. Okay, he said a whole bunch of nonsense. So let's see, is there anything else here? Now that I've talked to her, will these guys talk to me? No. These guys are just kind of here hanging out. <laughs> Excuse me. They're just kind of here hanging out. Yeah, okay. So these are all just a bunch of boohooers. And we have the trader, which I have already hit. So we don't need to come back here. And we just need to go, let's go try to kill that thing. And see what happens. This is a big, nice, flat area. But we can't go through that portal until we get all the bits and pieces. Let's see. Okay. Uh, let's eat. I don't have any fruits left. I guess we'll just eat. We'll eat that one. We'll do some, we'll do some cooking when we get home. Space bar. Ah. Uh, All right, where is this guy? All right. Okay, I think that that thing right there running around is what I'm going after, which is a tad unfortunate because it's running so fast. So let's see if we can't catch it, shall we? All right, looks like this thing is going to be a task for another day when I figure out a better way to do it because it is too fast. And... It's just too fast. So we got a lot done today. Um, we got our next our next uh, little bit of quest. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for a little bit more content. Leave a comment in the comments section. And share the video with your buddies. Because YouTube says sharing is caring. 
And as always, everyone, I do hope you have a great rest of your day.